Bonjour tout le monde. This is the story of Je suis jalouse. It is based on a music video, the video itself as opposed to the lyrics. At least it's not very strictly linked to the lyrics. It's just kind of linked to the idea of them. But to watch the video, obviously this is not live in, this, in the video that I'm making, but if you go to your slides called Je suis jalouse slides, um, you can click on here and watch the actual video and see what happens. Um, we are going to start with le vocabulaire. Move myself down here so you can see a little bit better. So le vocabulaire pour um, l'histoire, pour je suis jalouse, un manège. Un manège, c'est carousel en français. Um, embrasse. Embrasse looks a lot like... Um, looks a lot like embrace in English, so I think that we as English speakers want it to mean hug. Um, in fact, hugging is not a big thing in France. They are more two cheeks kiss, um, and it's a, a very common greeting. It doesn't matter whether you um, know people well. Sometimes when you're just meeting them for the first time, you're going to do that, um, or if it's somebody that you know very well, you'll still do that, so it's a very common greeting. Um, embrasse, embrasse. It literally means kiss. Lui done, lui done gives him voix, voix, ver. Now, when we learned ver in the past, it's always been with va. Il va ver, he goes toward. The ver part is just toward. Cherche, pense, think. And lastly, un truc. Un truc is a great word because it can be used for many things. It's kind of like thingamajig in English. Um, it's, it's not really a thing. It's like kind of a fun word for a thing. So um, you can use it just basically for anything. Um, so un truc is just anything. In this story, we're going to see a woman who has a um, kind of carnival ride that she drives around with that is in the form of a spaceship. Now, the word for spaceship or rocket en français is une fusée, une fusée. But rather than teach you une fusée, which is not a particularly useful piece of information, I'm going to call it un truc, un truc. So instead of being a rocket, it's just going to be a big thing. So un truc is one of the words I'm hoping you'll be able to retain from this. Okay. <clears throat> Il y a... Oops. Try that again. Il y a un homme et une femme. Et l'homme s'appelle Pierre et la femme s'appelle Aimé. Pierre est brun, il est grand, il est assez grand, fairly assez grand. Um, il est sympa, il est sympa. Et puis Aimé, elle est rousse et elle est sympa aussi, elle sourit. Et, um, elle, est, elle est jolie, pretty, elle est jolie. Et elle fait le petit déjeuner. Le petit déjeuner, what meal is this? Breakfast, le petit déjeuner c'est breakfast. Alors elle fait le petit déjeuner et elle fait le thé, le thé. Um, Pierre et Aimé habitent dans un manège. So as strange as that may sound, if you've watched the video, then you kind of have an idea of this already. It's a very strange video. But ils habitent dans un manège. They literally live inside of a carousel. Ils habitent dans le manège. Et ils travaillent dans le manège. Ils travaillent. Um, Pierre travaille comme mécanicien. Mécanicien. Um, a Il met, he puts on, il met son uniforme et ses bottes et il travaille comme mécanicien. Aimé et Pierre prennent le thé ensemble. Prenne does not mean uh, to drink. It just means to take. So they take tea together, which is a very common way of saying to have something to eat or drink, prenne. Um, but it's also just more useful than the word drink because it's less specific. So, ils prennent, they take, ils prennent le thé ensemble. Et ils sont contents, ils sont contents. Et 
Marie, pardon, pas Marie, à aimer en brasse Pierre et Pierre va au travail. Et aimer aussi, elle travaille dans le manège. Elle est gérante. She kind of manages the place. Elle parle aux enfants, etc. 